Okay, so in this video, I want to go over why using fgets is important. So the program we have right now, we have a constant defined called size that's 16, and that's because that's the word size for this particular machine. And I've created three strings, all of size characters. I initialize those with 15 letters, all identical, and then we're going to print those. And you'll notice here, the size is 16, but I only use 15 letters because that 16th character should be the null terminator. So if I compile this, and run it, you can see I get the three strings. Now I want to be clear, what I'm about to do is dangerous. So we're going to prompt the user for a string. Actually, let me go ahead and put this here so that we can include our get s call in this comment later on. I'm going to get s string two. Actually, let me do this down below. So we'll do a before and then we'll do an after. We'll do our get s and then we'll print all the strings again. So we compile, and you'll notice we get a warning, not an error or just a warning, but it says the get s function is dangerous and should not be used. That's a warning we should definitely heed. Get s is dangerous, and I'll show you why. Let's run this. I'll say hello world. Okay, that's reasonable enough. But what if I enter? Okay, so here's my string. Let me press enter. And notice, string two, we have this. We have string one now says, O day is Thursday, so tomorrow is Friday. And we have a core dump. And my guess is, is the reason we have a core dump is you'll notice string one is now really long. And I almost am positive, I think that there's a good chance that this somehow interfered with the return address of my function. Because remember, when a function gets called, we get memory on the stack. And if this affected some of that code that's on the stack, I would think that the operating system very quickly would cause my program to fail. This is bad. Hopefully everybody sees this. The correct way to do this is to use fgets. And then that we're going to pass a size and we're going to read from standard in. Remember, that's a file. So now you'll notice my string gets cut off. So fgets limits how much it reads, whereas gets just takes everything you enter and puts it in that memory location. So now I'm no longer able to overwrite the existing memory. I can only overwrite however many bytes I specified, which was limited to the size of that particular string. So the two things to take away from this is first of all, of course, never use get s. Number two, make sure you always pay attention to your warnings. This is another example when that warning helped us immensely.